All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is four in the morning on the 23rd of January, and we've had an 8.2 magnitude earthquake off the south coast of Alaska. And this just in, buoy 46410 just northeast of the epicenter has recorded a watcher displacement of 10 meters or 32 feet. At the moment, they have tsunami warnings posted for South Alaska and the West Canadian coastline, which is basically like the entire Canadian coastline. And there's a tsunami watch for the entire West Coast of the United States. Now, this is a pretty big earthquake. It happened pretty shallow, I believe at about 10 to 12 meters. And the shallower the earthquake is, the more damage it does around it in the reverberations, I believe. But it's four in the morning. My head is a bit hazy, but this is a very serious situation. This is an event. It's happening now. Uh, I think the earthquake happened less than an hour ago. So the tsunami.gov, I'm guessing it's... <clears throat> pretty slammed because ain't nothing happening it's hard to get in we are watching the buoys for any more data but as you can see there's a lot of activity of course after an earthquake um, and as I've been mentioning and pointing out that one of the most active volcanoes not only in the world definitely the most active volcano in America is the Cleveland volcano and um, that is right about there so the earthquake happened right about here I believe it might have happened on the giant ridge and so the buoy I think is over here And so I will continue to monitor this for you, but definitely with 32 foot waves, <clears throat> it's time if you know anyone in Canada on the coast, the BC coast, from Juan de Fuca all the way north to Haida, Gauai, and the north coast, uh, let them know. Wake them up. Go ahead, call them. They have anywhere from, I would guess, an hour to three hours. Uh, you know, I know the memories of the Japan tsunami in 2011. That was a nine earthquake, which caused major damage to this day. Has not been repaired, and we know that Fukushima nuclear power plant is still not in good shape whatsoever. And so, here is our basic tsunami area. Like I said, they have anywhere from maybe two hours before that the waves would hit, maybe three. This stretches down. I recommend Twitter, though most of the time it can be a cesspool for up-to-the-date events, up-to-the-minute. It's one of the best places you can go. But once again, I want to repeat that we have a warning in effect for Canada. We have a watch in effect for the entire West Coast. And our buoy data is showing up to 32 foot waves, which are pretty big waves. Here is the buoy, which reported a 30 foot water rise shortly after the powerful 8.2 magnitude earthquake just south of Alaska. And so, all right, he has not posted anything new. But, yeah, that was a half hour ago. So, like I said, if you know anyone, uh, I don't think there's any major, major, major danger for California, Oregon. But I wouldn't. <clears throat> it's it, Look, we went through 2017 together. You know, I live in Houston. We flooded out. Puerto Rico got annihilated. And so... Florida got hit. There's really no reason to not take this stuff seriously these days, you know? 
So I just hope that everyone is safe. My prayers are with you. And I will keep watching the buoys and I will keep you guys posted. Hopefully this will not be a major event. But I can't remember seeing an earthquake that big that near the West Coast. So, and the factors and conditions that might that have been causing a lot of earthquake activity. We saw two major 6.0 earthquakes happen hours ago. Um, that, you know, until the activity calms down, I would stay on high alert. Stay aware. Don't be scared. Have no fear. Definitely keep a good sense of humor, but. This is real, and I highly recommend following Dutch Synths on YouTube. He's an earthquake master. Suspicious Observers is extremely fantastic at it as well. Uh, they can literally give you days, sometimes, warning where the major hot zones will be. So uh, I'll keep checking in, and with any new major information, I will keep you guys posted, okay? Stay cool. God bless everyone. Like I said, if you have family along the Canadian coast, please give them a call. Make sure they're safe. And if I was out on the coast, I'd probably drive in just to be safe. Uh, unless it's a big problem. I like being safe. You know. Okay, so God bless everyone. Stay cool.